Hey guys, Kongar here, and today I have two more replays for you guys featuring two more buffs to tanks. This time, British tank destroyers. The first one being the FE 4005, and the second being the Tortoise. We're going to show the FE 4005 first because we are. Because the thumbnail was the FE 4005. And they buffed its engine, 650 to 950. As you can see, look at it just get up and go. Absolutely insane. And they buffed its gun handling quite significantly, so it's a pretty snappy tank now. Absolutely crazy. Grill 15 here. In the form of a 4005 is pretty much what you want. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And then the Tornus, they buffed its armor. So we'll get into that when we get there. But for now, 4005 AP loaded. Uh, this, I believe, may, must. I think this was before I knew that they turned on plus 20, minus 20 on RNG. Um, and I could have loaded a Hess shell there because. I do have the equipment piece that allows me to switch out immediately. So that would have probably been the wise thing to do. So yeah, but we didn't. Um, we're going to shoot exclusively AP this game. Because I, I really was more interested when I was filming this and the tortoise. So this was for my crazy buffs video. And so I was mostly interested in just getting gameplay out there. And testing the features of the tank. And getting that on the spotlight as I was playing. And so I didn't need Hesh, I just wanted to see the accuracy, see the mobility, and demonstrate that in the video. Right? Uh, but sometimes you have good games while you're making these videos. In fact, I had quite a few games. I, right? The E4 was a good game. Um, this is a good game. The Tortoise is a good game. What else did we do in that? The IS-7 was a good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the IS-7 was a great game. And then what did we couple... Oh, hello there. We'll do this guy. Boom. <laughs> Owie. What did we couple the E4 replay with? You would think I could remember. Oh, the 263. But the 263 was not part of part of the, uh, the, the top 7 video. It was just something extra. But yeah, we had a lot of good games, just to say the least, during that. Because the tanks are good. Like, they're really good. IS-7 especially. Type 5 is fantastic right now. So we'll have to give that a go. Uh, but first, let's put a nice side shot into one of these guys. Hello there, Yagpanzer. I hit harder than you do. I have a 183. And you're going to feel that one. Keeping this in front of us. Get this wall. Hopefully keeping him from shooting me. Someone puts a shell into us. Probably the little light tank. Oh, the light tank is dead. It was someone. I don't know. They didn't hit hard. It was HE. They must not have penned. So, no big deal. 4,554 damage now. And we're still going. We still have a couple more shots. Hopefully we'll be able to pull off this game. Nine enemies left. Well, we have 13 allies. Yagpans is leading the charge. We'll join him. We still have health. As long as I don't get hit by, let's say, a Yagpans there, I'm happy. But let's put this in. Boom. Turret. Easy. Gun can... is more than capable of going through the turret with 310 millimeters of penetration. We might have hit the turret. might have hit the cupola. Either way, we go on no problem. This was before the Type 4 and Type 5 buffs. I don't know if the Type 4 got armor. I think it did. Uh, but either way, I still think we would have gone in. We get shot in the side there. Yagpans are behind us. We kill him. We don't have a very clean shot, so we're not going to so much pay attention to him. We're instead going to focus on this Udez. Hello there, Udez. Where is he at? He misses us. And whoop, we do not miss him. There we go. Oh, the Yagpans are still alive. How did three tanks... Circling Yagpanzer on 500 health, not kill him. I don't know. <laughs> but he's he's finally dead. And we win the game. There we go. 6,500 damage. Nice quick game. That is the 4,005 with its changes. Quick demonstration. Quick slaps. Quick 6,000 damage. That's how you do it. Who's going to be top? Let's see. Yeah, 4,005 on top with those three marks of excellence. Mm -hmm, that's what we'd like to see. Ace tanker? Nope, second class. No problem. That's why we save the ace tanker for now. Let's do some tortoise. Tortoise time on this map. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not as bad as some of the other ones. So, and, and we can make do with the tortoise here on this map. And there's no Arnie, so no more complaints from me. So the tortoise, highest DPM in the game. Nobody can say otherwise. They do, they're an idiot because DPM is based off of numbers. Um, or a troll. But even trolls are idiots because 
being a troll is an idiot. So, okay, so either way, they're an idiot. So that's one thing. Second, armor got buffed. The Coppola got buffed 200-something, somebody said. Yes, 200-something. I can't remember what it is exactly. Um, and I was telling them, Kong, like, Kong, you're, you're an idiot. Do you even read the patch notes? Do you even read them, Kong? Do you even... Do you... Do you even read them? And I'm like, yes. <sighs> yes, I do. Do you even read them? You know? Um, Coppola got buffed. It's stronger. It's not great. It's still a weak spot. But the roof also got buffed, the superstructure got buffed, the upper plate got buffed, pretty much everything about this front got buffed. So you're now an actual fortress, like you're supposed to be, which is cool. And you bumble around at no kilometers an hour, so you should at least have armor going for you, right? And now you do. So this is a very good tank for brawling, you can face hugging it really, really, really well, well now, because people can't punch through your superstructure anymore, and when you're face hugging it's harder to hit your cupola, so that's cool. Uh, we're going to sit here for a moment or two because this position here is kind of almost perfect for the tortoise because now my right side is hidden and I'm able to use my full gun arc. So this is a, a very difficult shot to penetrate on a tortoise. Nearly impossible to penetrate, in fact. Uh, it's doable. That guy's a moron. Okay, we'll take it. Nice side scraping. By side scraping, nice sideways. That's what they call that, not necessarily side scraping. It's just sideways. Nice sideways. Fire this shell there. It looks like we went over him. Or maybe we bounced off, but I think we went over. Um, yeah, we're not going to do much from this position, unfortunately. Because these guys are doing the same thing as us, which is playing carefully, except we get to our positions first. So we already have all our guns aimed. And they're like, you know what? We don't want to get shot by somebody who has their, their gun. guns all aimed at these corners. And so they don't. We're going to activate food here, because I have a feeling this guy's going to pull in front of us. And I wanted to kill him quickly. But nope, we have this guy. Put a shell on the move. No problem. When you're slow, your gun boom doesn't get much bigger. Waffle, nice. He's got the big gun. Don't want to get hit by that, especially if he's got heat load. That's going to go through us rather rapidly. Who's this? Do we have a shot? No, we do not. It's a dragon. And some funny things or interesting things are going to happen. Dragons, they have no armor whatsoever to speak of. Keep that in mind. Are you there again? Dude, I'm not dumb. Put a shell there. Did we hit him? We might have. No, it doesn't look like we hit him. We might have damaged his tracks or something. But we're, now we're getting the assist. There you go. There he is. Nice kill shot. Boing! No, we bounce off. Yeah, that's a Leo hull, by the way. Tier 7 hull. Tier 7 HG-able tank. That you can HG when you're a Tier 7. And we bounce. But don't worry. We'll bounce again! <laughs> two for two. Obviously, those are both auto lock, but still, what are the chances? And this time, I'm like, okay, I guess we gotta aim for his weak spot. Which is everywhere! And so we put that one in. And, oh, we're targeted. You know what? I think you're still there, Waffle. Don't mind me. Boop! gone. Killed the waffle. Fantastic. Some of you may have seen this from my previous video. Just this part of the, the replay because it was such a good part of the replay. That's why I shared it. It's because it was it was demonstrating just what the tortoise is capable of. Amrix. Yeah, okay. He's looking at me, which kind of surprised me. It's like, oh, you want to look this way? Okay. I mean, you've got other people to worry about. So, cool. V5. V5 bounces. Easy. No problem. Our bounce counter is going up. And we have DPM, so we're activating our food, getting our DPM even higher, and I'll lead the charge for 30U. You are now the weak tank. I'm the strong tank. Put a shell in there. KPZ up there. No worries. And finish him off before he can even shoot again. Ah, ah, ah. Power. And a full health E3. That's what we like to see. Put a shell into him there. Easy. Oh, someone else penned him pretty hard. And the 430 hits him, so eh, we'll just clean him up there. Done. And done. Out of the game. I would have loved our 700 alpha tank gun not to hit him, because we could have farmed him. Shot into this guy, hit him in the upper plate, unfortunately bounce off. He pens us there with a snap, goes through, kills our gunner, so it looks like he went straight through our center. We get the side of his turret and we put it in, and now we're on the chase. Chasing with a tortoise, versus a tank that can go 60. He goes three times faster. He could drive to the from our base to the enemy base, drive back to our base, and then drive back to the enemy base before I, starting from our base, even managed to get to our, to their base in one go. So yeah. Anyway, we're not going to catch him. He gets finished off anyway. And we have four tanks left. And they have six. But we're still healthy. And I'm in a tortoise. The tortoise is strong. Tortoise is powerful. Tortoise is mighty. One does not simply bat an eyelash at a tortoise. T-30 goes down swinging. Or is going down swinging. Kills someone off. There's a T-57 heavy. Hello there. Put a shell into to, uh, to him, and he's going to try to clip us out here, but my reload is fast. So we're loaded again, but we bounce off. 
We really needed that hit, in my opinion. I think that hit was huge. He's pulling away. Come on, come back out. Come back out. I'm not loaded. I promise. No, that'd be lying. I am loaded. Come out. Anyway. Uh, somebody misses us. There's someone else up there. Didn't look like it was the Chieftain. It was an AP shell. Maybe the version 4. Good thing we did not take that hit. That would have ruined my my day a little bit. I would have been a, a sad man. T57 Heavy takes a hit from the 430U. He's now a one-shot for the 430U, but he's rushing the 430U. He's going to be fast enough. T30 goes is still going down swing. Finishes off another tank. Now it's tied up. 430U is a two-shot for the T57 Heavy if the T57 Heavy does not roll high. So he's at the advantage here, plus he has armor to boot. Medium tank coming up from behind. Medium tank finishes him off. Now our T30 goes down to the 268 version 4, and we've got two tanks yonder that way. But we also have a Chieftain somewhere. We definitely need to keep our eyes out for him, I think, unless I'm misreading who's left alive. It's a small screen, it's tough to tell. But we've got an Emil, we've got a version 4, and I think a Chieftain, or a 50 TP. One of those. It might be neither of those, because I'm an idiot. That could be the case. So, yeah, we're just rolling, slowly. Spotted. There he is, Chieftain. Hello. Dead. Bounced! I want to hit him in the side there, but it's okay. We missed. Um, but he's doing it again, so we'll finish him off there. There we go. Now we kill him. Dead, gone, out of the game. If I were those heavy tanks and tank destroyers, I would be coming from this side because going straight in doesn't sound like a good idea. So I'm going to guess that they're going to drop down from our side of the map from this side and drive towards me here. And that's what I'm hoping for, so that's what I'm going for, is hoping to run into them this way because they're going to want to go for the flanking and maybe isolate me. But you don't just isolate a tortoise. Yep, we're spotted. There he is. Snap a shot, hit him in the side, bounce off. Unfortunately, we're switching to our premium rounds. And so, boom, we go into his lower, lower plate. That's the weak spot. But this is my first time fighting one. And I knew the lower plate was buffed, but I wanted to test it. So I tried shooting the lower plate again, and we bounce off. Because this was before I realized lower plate. The lower plate is not flat. I thought the lower plate was flat. It's actually angled back. Or angled down, like, really, really well. So, 326 pen is not enough to go through that 300 millimeter plate. So we're going to go for his cupola instead. And we bounce off his cupola. He pens us there. It's like, okay, well, he's getting a little bit lucky there. APC are bouncing off his cupola. Let's go for his lower plate again. Or his tracks. We miss his tracks. I really wanted to hold him still. But he's going to poke out again. And boom. There we go. Now we finish him off. Oh, and the Emil died earlier. Well, that's anticlimactic. There we go. But you got to see the armor of the tortoise actually work there. Almost 4,000 damage blocked in a tortoise. That's what you like to see. 4,000 damage done. Top gun. Six kills. 1,900 base XP. That is going to be an ace tanker. On uh, no steel wall, we did not get hit enough, but we did block enough damage. We just didn't get hit enough. But there you go. The Tortoise and the FD4005 buffs. Fantastic. That's going to be it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Band. Link in the description below. Check out my books if you like. Link in the description below. And I'll be seeing you all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.